hello guys welcome to another brand new episode in this episode i want to show you how to add a github actions badge to your repository um so as you can see uh this is my repository okay and at the bottom before this uh sentence there is an image it's a link okay an image inside a link and it says create and publish a Docker image. And it says pass it. This is provided by GitHub. I didn't create this, uh, this link, um, which is kind of nice. And all you need uh, is literally uh, just an, a link. Um, you need a link to create this image uh, to do that. Um, but you don't need to do any of the text inside the GitHub logo that you can see here um so now if it is failing it will also show here failing okay so my last deploy is passing so it's showing passing um so yeah guys um if this is something you want to learn um yeah stay stay tuned and i will show you how to add a github actions badge All right, guys, so to get started, I open up uh, Google.com and I want to search for GitHub Actions Badge. Okay, click enter, uh, tap, uh, hit enter. The first link is usually what you will see, uh, but if not, just investigate to make sure that it says adding a workflow status badge. Okay, so let's click on that. And you have we have instruction on how to do that. Um, now, because I've been here before, I know where immediately uh, to go to. So what I will do is, I would like to copy this link. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy. I will explain to you what we need to, how we need, how we use that. So copy to my clipboard. Then what I will do is I will go to my GitHub repository that I want to add the badge. Okay. Um, so there are, there are two ways that I can access my readme file because that's what we need to do now. Um, one on your right, you see README. It will take you to README. Or as soon as you get to your repo, um, by kind of glancing through the list of files here, we see README. So click on that. So we want to add the uh, the badge here. So let's go to the edit mode because we need to edit the README file. So on your top left. Click on the pen icon. All right, so I want to add the badge after this image. If if you don't know what this is, this is actually an image. And before this sentence, okay? So I'm gonna drop my cursor right here and then tap enter maybe twice. And then uh, paste that link. So let's edit the link. Okay. Um, we need to replace this owner with my GitHub username. Okay. So you do that with your own GitHub username. Repository, the name of the current repository, which is podcast actions we don't need to do anything workflows nothing and then workflow file that we need to replace with deploy that yaml that is the name of my deploy file i'm going to show you um later okay so that is really it we've replaced customized this link with what we want so let's uh view and see what we get 
Okay, let's scroll down. Well, that doesn't do anything. That is not the expected behavior that I showed you earlier. So let's go back. Because this link, even though it's image, we need to, let's copy, let me show you that it's actually an image. Let's go to another link, type this, no. As you can see, it's actually an image, but what we missed is we need to add it here on the readme as an image. That's what we need to do. So how do you, what is the syntax for adding an image to a readme uh, file? Well, it is exclamation mark, open braces, op open bracket. So this is where the alt text will go. The alt text is what you want to show to people before the image shows. So let's type deploy badge, okay? And then outside of that, open another uh, braces a bracket and paste in that link. So this is the syntax for adding an image to a readme file, to a GitHub readme file or MD file. So fingers crossed, let's go to preview to see what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna click on preview. And tada, we got the image right in our readme file. So that is what I want guys. And that is really it. So what I will do right now, I want to comment and save the changes. So add git, GitHub batch. Okay, I'm gonna comment. So I'm gonna hit this button, this green button. All right, it's done saving. I'm gonna go back to my code to show you how you can get the name of your deploy uh, file. So at the top, at the very top, you see a, uh, a folder named .github. So click on it. It says that .github slash workflows. It's a nested uh, stuff folders. So .github is a folder, workflows is a folder, and then inside it, there is a file called deploy.yaml. So that is the name that you need to add. Um, so that is it guys. Let's go back and see what we got again. Really looks nice. Um, but why, why would you need this, right? So I have explained this earlier. Um, this is really nice to have so that, um, you know, your viewers, people who visit your repository, they can easily see the last status of your deploy. Thank you very much. Uh, for watching this video. If you have not, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share, comment. Um, if you got some tricky ways that you do this, please comment down. And I would like, to, I read all uh, comments, so I will be ha more than happy to go through and learn from you as well. So thank you. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.